tonight. I'm gonna show you how I use Mocha to track clips. I've picked out some tricky situations. So we've got shaky cam helicopters. We've got a rally car. We have police chasing a bold guy. And we have a rugby player dashing through some players. Let's begin. The rally shot. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mocha AE. Here we've got a car running through some bushes. Okay, and I want the car through those bushes. I want the car entirely. Let's start off by clicking my little hand so it locks on. What's it called? Quick stabilize mode. I'm making a rough situation over here. Let's try adding a point with the point insertion tool. Learning something new every day. So here we go. Right, we just need to get the general vibe of the car. We're not making a roto mask here. We just need to get the position and the scale of it. And let's go, we go forward. Easy mate. Beautiful, look at that. Just track that, no issues at all. And then we go back here. Okay, let's see how far, how, oh, it stops there. This is interesting. How are we gonna deal with this? Let's go like that. And uh, before it kind of breaks, I'm gonna see if I can just put it on the lights. Cause the lights are bright. Is this gonna work? Oh, nope, that's not gonna work. That is not happening. We're trying, we're learning together. Okay, this is how I would deal with the situation. That's not working at all, bruv. Wow. Okay, this is not gonna happen. This part looks really nice. Perfect, no issues at all. Uh, let's, let's get this moved to the front of the car. Let's see if it sticks to it. Now, we have this second tab called Adjust Track. No one's using this. If your track drifts or something fails, then this is like your backup option, right? This is your second pass of tracking. So I'm gonna add a new point. I'm gonna untick keyframe all points. I'm gonna add a new point here. And I'm gonna just put it there. That's the reference frame. And you can see it'll follow the original track. I think that's the light there. When you add new point, you are in like adding a keyframe mode. I've added my point, I unclick add new point, then I click this and I drag it to where the light is. And you can always see the reference frame. And now when I go forward, now the track is continuing. Let me just see if I can add that in like that. Let's go a bit further back, see if I can find anything on it. And then that will go there. This is crazy. I've never done it like this. This, this is some extrapolation, bruv. Let's see how far I can go. Yeah, let's bring it here. Okay. And you just get a feel, like you know where the car kinda is. So you know where to correct it when things just don't look right. That's how you do that. Now I've got this track and that didn't take very long at all. And I didn't have to like bring it into After Effects and start playing with it in After Effects. I feel like it's much easier to do it here. Now I save it, same situation, make a null. Create track data, transform track, bang. Track, whoa, that's a big text fam. When did I have something that big? All fills over all strokes. I now link it to the car, to, to track and do a little motion blur. That's pretty cool. I don't want the scale on this. So I'm gonna get rid of the scale. I don't care for rotation. I just want it to just follow where it is. But I can make it smaller, just to make it look more precise like that. I don't know, just the locator, just to locate it. And then if we must, if we must, because it is getting further away and there is a scale thing happening, fine. What we can do is have the scale animate now a bit loosely. This is the biggest scale. There's gonna be the smallest scale. And then there you go. This guy can move up a little bit from here to there. He can like be higher up like that. There you go. And then that is the car tracked. And I think that looks pretty sick, bruv. The choppy chopper. This is a bit more difficult. We've got a helicopter through some leaves. The camera's shaking about. There's a bit of motion blur, so it's a bit shaky. And I'm gonna try and track the red light because I see the red light the entire time. That's a good point of reference. Mocha, let's do it. Let me get the circle for this. And yeah, the searchlight, yeah, it's cool, but it's got this ray coming off it and it's a bit big and a bit dumb. So let's see what happens if I just use that. Transform and scale, use the hand and hit go. No problem so far. Oh, we have a failure. An extreme jerk occurs. Let's see, come on, here we go. Let me bring it back in. Using Alt to equally scale the circle. Okay. Oh, it failed again. Another jerk incoming, I suppose. Keep it big, whatever. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We are going off track there. It really starts messing up here because I think this ray of light is just messing things up a lot. Finally a challenge, finally a difficult situation. Yeah, it's really getting distracted by the other light. I'm gonna make this nice and small and compact and it keeps failing on me. Fine, just make it bigger. Still failing on me. Hmm, try that. Oh, it's jumped, it's jumped a bit. This is good. 
This is good for the tutorial. Not good for someone tracking it, a bit annoying, but for the tutorial, it's perfect. Well, it just, it does move a little bit, it kind of loses it a little bit, but then this is again like a testament to Mocha and how good it is. Like this is just chill. Okay, that is the first break we've seen today. We'll do a bit of this and we'll try and carry on. Oh, woo, 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 woo. Okay, what can we do here? You know, I've noticed this happen sometimes. Even if you correct the situation, it's still like, well, no, I still want to go this way. I'm just going to go this way. And I usually get just lost in those situations. I'm just like, I don't know what to do here. It's always useful to have this show planar surface enabled sometimes, just so you know what the story is, because that's the track. This is the track that you'll get in After Effects. These masks, it's just to help you get a track, but it's all going to serve this thing here so you can see how much things are moving about sliding about in regards to the final track things aren't going well i'm just gonna make this huge see if that helps all right we're doing right we're doing okay and the big light comes on but because we've got so much of the frame already it's not oh damn oh yeah because the light's gone okay cool let's just go to the searchlight does that hold yeah that holds Ooh, oh come on come on we can do this still breaking Fine, we'll just move it. Oh, breaking. Oh, it's, t it's terminating, it's terminating. Let's see, what, what can we do here? This is good because it's a difficult clip. This is good. Everything's been too easy up until this point. Yeah, it's a bit crazy there. Fine, we'll fix that. Time to get your hands dirty. This is our reference. I'm gonna put that as the reference. I'm gonna add a translation. So I've added my point. I'm just going to make sure it just stays in the middle. I'm holding the control button and just going left. There you go. Bang. Perfect. You just kind of want to find things that are really problematic. Let's get this over here. And like anything, you want to go to the extremities of the motion, like the worst part, and then correct that. And then you slowly work your way down and, and refine it. So you can see already it's, it's kind of helping, but like the furthest point, like this is going crazy here. So we go maybe here. And like, that's just, that's, what's that doing there, right? That track just flew off. And that goes there. And you can kind of see now, the, res the final result is marvellous, mate. It's marvellous. As you correct it, it just averages things out, removes the anomalies in the track. And because it's so simple to adjust like this, especially this kind of track, which just crashed out, these are frame by frame adjustments. Because it just went, it just failed, straight failed. Right here, I don't know where that is, so I'm gonna skip that because it goes through some leaves. That's there. And now, because I've got other frames around it, well, it's just keyframes, isn't it? The main benefit here is that in After Effects, you can do this, but you don't have this locked stabilization feature here where you're locked onto the thing. And it's just so smooth here, the way I'm just flying around, I'm just holding control holding down the right arrow or the left arrow. Like this is the After Effects experience. Oh, it's up there now. Oh, it's up there. Now I need to do it. And, and you're kind of guessing because you have to reframe your reference. And this is just, oh, this is so, this is so good. Like this is about to fail. So I've set a key here because it's about to fail. So look, that's the max point of failure as far as it went, that is. Because you've done all the heavy lifting here, you can go back into After Effects knowing that, okay, now I've got a solid track. I mean, the scale is going to be going crazy, so it's not a great indication, but it's locked onto that light. It's locked onto the searchlight, which is brilliant. You can see it here as well. Great indicator here. That is not moving from there. For, for all intents and purposes, that is a success, mate. Pow, pow. Tracky boy. We've got that null there doing its ting. Oh, yeah. You see, the track is actually here. Like, that's what we locked in, but the track is here. So we can now choose, okay, where do I want this? Do I want it to be on the tail? I was thinking of putting it in the window at the front, but because as the helicopter's turning and that would drift a bit too much. Now we hit save again, come back out, click track data again, apply to the null, and now it's there. Turn off the scale, because that is that did not go well for it. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely impeccable tracky. Oh, so satisfying. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Oh my gosh. Once again, goes off screen, the position just stops, isn't it? Let's, let's address that, let's address that. I think that's the last key, right? Maybe that one. You can either just by eye, I could see it's kind of going off screen and then just kind of guess that, oh yeah, it's going to go about there. And you can see I'm using the gaps between keys. Also by looking at the graph editor, you can just 
keep going along the same trajectory. And then there you go. Simple as that. You don't even need code. You know, you don't need code. There are different ways to do everything. Run, boy, run. Perfect. Now, police chasing bold man. I thought this was cool because the guy's head goes off frame for a moment and I want to track his head because that's the most solid, easy to track feature of him. And you could put a little triangle on him like FIFA, right? So that's what I want. I want it to stay on him like that, tracking his head. We don't even need scale actually, but no. The more of these you tick, the longer it takes for it to track it. So only tick the ones you need. I just want to know where his head is so I can put a triangle on it and the triangle isn't going to change scale. Here we go. Bam. Oh, keep it on his head so it doesn't start attaching to the wall behind. Go to the beginning, the beninging. In the bini, in the beninging. But one thing to also bear in mind is if you turn off scale as the subject gets closer to the camera, you might have to scale up the shape. So here we go, here's where he starts going off frame. So we just drop it down a bit. Oh, we are failing here. So fine, that's fine. We've got his shoulder here. Stay on his shoulder. Back on his head. Beautiful. Where is the surface? But playing our surface, that's the one. This is the reference frame. Yeah, that's not much of a reference, but middle of his head. I, I know that, okay? I know that much. We're not gonna add another key. We're gonna untick that, untick surface. I'm just gonna slide that over this way. And I'm gonna slide that over this way now. I'm gonna see what happens. That needs to go back there, middle of his head. Guessing, you know, you, you have a feeling of where it is, right? Done. Now that is done. It didn't take that long. He's running about like crazy. Now we have a beautiful track. We apply it. Does it stick? We shall see. I mean, it sticks, boys. We are sticking, bruv. Oh. It does go a bit high there. I guess that's because his head is far away. So what we can do is we can do a little separate dimensions and drop the Y axis as he gets quite far away. So at this point, he's as far as he's ever gonna be. So there, there we go. And then that way, and I'll ease it in because you know, you get far quickly. And then the plateaus. That is locked on for me. Once again, you know the deal with that. Turn off scale. Even if you don't track rotation or scale, it brings it in. You can delete those keys. Just like, yeah, he's, he's gonna go that, he's kind of going that way, right? Just enough, just to get the, the element off the screen. And it's done. The rugby shot! Ugh. Rugby player. Boom. We don't want scale, we just want his head. He doesn't change distance from the camera. So let's go. It's difficult, because his head's turning like crazy. But look, that's good. We've got that much. That's really good. But you can see, it is drifting about. So, you know, it's not perfect. Adjust the track, turn off the surface, add a key. Cool, nice, beautiful. I could refine that a little bit more, but that's pretty good. Now, there is one cool thing I can do here. And instead of just doing create track, doing all of this, where it just gets me a perfect little null that follows his head, I could do invert. And then you've got a null here and I can have it follow the track. And then now it's locked onto the guy in After Effects, which is so good because this is stabilizing the shot. Because then now you see the action from his angle. You see all the bumps and the hits and the impacts. And it's just amazing. Just zoom in as required, kind of something like that. And now he's just in the middle of the frame. It's just, it's so good. Closing thoughts. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this gives you the confidence to try and tackle clips that you previously thought were beyond your ability, beyond your scope. Happy tracking. Any questions, let me know. I know you can use Mocha for much more than this. There's also Roto abilities, which are amazing. You can do tracking a whole landscape, putting stuff on the ground, things on surfaces. This was just motion tracking. This is how I've been using it a lot lately. So I want to make sure that everyone knew about this and especially the adjust track tab. That is just so easy to fix these tricky tracks, especially that helicopter one. I'm glad that went wrong so I could show you how to fix that. All right, take care.